Well, Mount Skigo held its 10th annual Ski and Board-a-thon fundraiser in mid-February. And in this week's Northwoods Adventure, Shane Lee recaps the action and speaks with the top two finishers. The goal is simple, ski down the hill as many times as possible. The difficult part is continuing to do that for seven hours. It's about two and a half minutes up on the chairlift and 30 seconds down, so we're trying to make our three minute round trips as quick as we can. Only the master strategist can come out on top in this contest against time. Efficiency is of the essence. You get off the lift and you go around the shack and follow underneath the lift all the way down. It's just a straight line. Waste no distance, waste no time. Reichenbach and Aga actually limit their liquid intake to avoid pit stops. And you can forget about snack breaks. That's what the chairlift is for. I've got a stash of energy bars that I can have uh, on the chairlift while I'm riding up. The inspiration behind the ski and board a thon is raising money for ski gulls youth programs. The more a contestant skis, the more money gets raised. Aga wound up costing his sponsors about $2,000. This is where I learned to ski and my kids have learned to ski, so I want it to continue on. The funds will go to the sixth grade program, kinship partners, and the Fresh Air and Fun Scholarship, which provides equipment and passes for kids who otherwise could not afford skiing. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it brings in quite a bit. It, it gives everybody a warm fuzzy, uh, and we have a good time. You know, it's, it's a race. Some people are out pretty serious. This is where the giving warm and fuzzy event turns kind of hairy as the skiers compete for chairs. It's hard to go fast enough to gain a chair on somebody, but you can lose a chair just like that. Reichenbach finished his day with 101 runs, but Aga kept going and topped out at 110 trips down the hill. I feel fine. I've been skiing all winter long. I ski se several times a week, so I'm in pretty good shape. Aga is in good shape, and hopefully so is Mount Ski Gull after the fundraising effort. Shane Lee, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.